Now your Super Doppler 10 forecast with meteorologist Jeremy Wheeler. All right, let's talk about what's going to be happening here for the next uh, 24 hours. We've got some quiet weather around here at the moment. High pressure is just off to the west, but there's a weak area, low pressure that's going to form offshore. You see a few showers down there to our south and southeast. Uh, that's going to slowly move north through the day. And uh, by tonight, it's going to give us a chance for a few rain showers and maybe a little wintry mix tomorrow morning early, but shouldn't impact uh, too many folks. Uh, there is snow off to our west. Um, that's not where our snow is coming from, though. A lot of that's going to dry up before it gets here. So uh, we've actually got a system down in Texas that will bring us our snow over the weekend. All right, so Super Doppler 10. Right now, things are quiet. We have dry conditions in Hampton Roads. Nice dry morning commute. And today is going to be quiet weather. It's quiet before the storm. So let's time all this out. Spend some time with Future Track and uh, a couple other computer models. So this is Future Track from now until, let's say, the midday hours. We see the clouds increase. So we go from mostly sunny to partly cloudy skies to mostly cloudy. And then we've got quite a bit of clouds in there for the evening. There's 3 p.m., 6 p.m. I wouldn't rule out a sprinkle or a flurry as we go into the evening time already. Uh, we'll have enough moisture for that. Rain showers develop uh, probably around midnight, a little bit before that, and then they move in until 2 a.m. Now, there will probably be a few sleep pellets or snowflakes mixing in with these rain showers, but for the most part, it's going to be you know rain, cold rain. Uh, there may be a little wintry mix in there between 2 a.m. and, let's say, 6 a.m. for parts north of the metro, and then it should move out, let's say, after 7 a.m. I think it will still go a little bit longer than this. But either way, you know, the rest of Friday is quiet. Uh, we see clouds building in once again already, and there's going to be a bigger area low pressure forming offshore here as we get in a Friday night. So it's still quiet up through about 8 o'clock, but after 8 p.m., uh, we could see some uh, weather moving in. Now, this is our future track computer model. It's got things starting up more around 5 to 7 a.m., and it's got the snow moving northward. Um, that's about as far out as this one goes. This is a future track. Let me show you one that goes a little bit past this point. So this is the GFS model, the American model. It's better for the, kind of the mid to long range, and so that's why I'm showing it. And this one starts up the snow by 3 a.m., and it's got it into high gear even uh, across the south side. Wintry mix to start there, northeast North Carolina. And then this is uh, Saturday 8 a.m., uh, and then we take it up till 1130 and that cold air drops south. Now it turns over to snow and heavy snow in North Carolina and the south side. And uh, so that looks like it'll be the highest amount. So that's uh, the GFS model. All right, so the setup is still the same. The computer models develop this area low pressure offshore. It throws back the moisture into that cold air mass. And so that's why that big band of snow develops from southwest to northeast. It's going to make for a tricky forecast, too, because uh, it may be kind of a, a, what we call a tight gradient or a, you know, a big difference in the amounts from north to south. Now, this just updated. Uh, this is the GFS model. It's coming in with higher amounts. I literally it just updated. I'm looking at it as you are for the first time, and it's coming in with numbers like 10. 10, uh, 12, 14 inches of snow, so it's come up a little bit. I may have to increase my snow forecast. This is the European uh, model, and it's got lesser amounts, but still uh, not that much different. If you just drag this amount up here from a husky northeastward, well, you're talking about close to the same amounts. So. Uh, I'm looking at these models, and this is my latest snow forecast. I'm probably going to up it now looking at the latest uh, GFS that came in, but I've got a good zone of 8-plus inches in here, Chesapeake, Virginia Beach, Suffolk at least, 10 inches uh, across parts of North Carolina inland. There'll be a sharp cutoff to the southeast because it'll, it'll be mostly a mix there, probably Manio southward, and probably a sharp cutoff going northward from the peninsula north. So this is preliminary. It's early yet. We're going to have the, an update on this coming up later today. Wavy News 10 at midday, Wavy News 10 at 4 p.m. And we'll be more specific, too. We can kind of zone in as it gets closer, and, and we can use that future track model to uh, pinpoint things a little better. But that gives you an idea that there's going to be significant snow Saturday, and it's probably going to stick Sunday, and it's probably going to stick Monday because temperatures are not going to warm up. Right now, our temperatures, they're in the 30s in Norfolk, Virginia Beach, 20s in Portsmouth and Newport News, and highs today will be in the upper 40s to near 50. It's going to be cooler. Uh, we got increasing clouds, fairly quiet today. So get things done that you need to do. Tomorrow morning, maybe a brief wintry mix. Most of the day's quiet. And then Saturday, we've got uh, highs in the 30s, and snow is likely dry and cold for Sunday and dry and cold for Monday.